As I sit on the light rail going away from the VA Fisher House, I reflect on my morning. Today, I met a female psychologist visiting her husband. She and I connected right away over our youth. We swapped stories of what it was like growing up in a home with a military father. Wanting to travel the same path she has, she gave me some advice that she received from a wise medicine man. He asked her, how can you help others with their pain when your basket is full of your own? She told me to remember to empty my basket and remember to self-care. Empty your basket. I think back to a time when my basket was overflowing. It was fall semester sophomore year of college. I was excited to finally start my major in family social science. I was going to be a counselor to help military veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. I knew it would be a busy semester, 17 credits, two jobs, and being the president of a student group, Friends of Free Arts Minnesota, or FOFAM. The semester started out great. I loved my classes and worked a lot. Soon came October. Without realizing it, I started losing interest in the things I was doing. I had a big event for FOFAM, but my heart wasn't in it. I started doing poorly in my classes, but I didn't care. And the mental breakdowns happened more often. The beginning of November rolled around, and I went home. Talking to my dad always helped. I told him that I wanted to quit school and just work full time. I figured it would be easier than what I was doing. He was able to help me look towards fixing my grades and gave me the motivation to stay in school. I figured things were getting better, and then it was brought to my attention that I stopped going to one of my jobs. One morning, I tried to go to work, but I couldn't get out of bed no matter how hard I tried. This hit me hard as I got an F in one of my classes. It was then that I realized I needed help. The next day, I walked into Boynton Mental Health on the U of M campus. I had to fill out paperwork and wait two weeks to see a counselor. The entire time I was shaking and felt sick to my stomach, repeating in my head, this isn't me. I feel fine, yesterday was just a one-time thing. Others have it worse than I do. I don't need this. And then, amongst the negative, a small thought appeared. Asking for help doesn't make you weak, you are strong. It's been seven months since I've been going to Boynton and I felt better than ever. The mental breakdowns are down to very few and I have the motivation to stay in school and do well. I know now that my loss of interest was partly because I wasn't doing enough. I've come to realize that definitions are flexible and it doesn't always mean the extreme. What I went through was minor by definition, but to me it was more. I look forward to helping ease the pain that is much greater than mine and those who have served and done what I can't. I will always remember self-care is important and when my basket is full, to always find a way to empty it.